Potomac is coming back. Coming back. October the 9th. October the 9th. It's coming back. It's coming back. Okay. So, what's up, y'all? My name is Leah. Thanks for clicking on the video. And we're going to talk about Potomac. We're going to talk about the cast photo. We're going to talk about the trailer that premiered yesterday on Tuesday. As well as, you know, people's reactions. The ladies' reactions to the trailer. So, let's get into it. So let's get into this cast photo that was released, y'all. So on, I think, Monday, the cast photo, either Monday, was it Monday or Sunday? No, it was Sunday. A leak for Real Housewives of Potomac's cast photo leaked. And people were like, don't look at the leak. But y'all, it's on the internet. And when something leaks, it's either going to get screenshotted or screen recorded. Either way, it's out there. Let it go and let God at this point. But um, it was leaked, supposedly. I love the new cast photo. I've been wanting a new cast photo since after, since after season five. After that toxic trash we went through, Armageddon on the internet with season five with that lady, I was so excited. I have been wanting a new cast photo. Like I was like, okay, she gone. We got a new girl, i.e. Mia. Why not start a new with a new cast photo? Because all they did with Mia was take old girl out and push Mia in her spot. And I was like, that's not great. I wanted more. But this cast photo, it gave me the vibes of when Real Housewives of Atlanta um, had their season, season, um, was it season 12? Season, I think season 12 when it was the all black outfits and every one of them girls looked good. Cynthia, Eva, Nene, Candy, Portia, and Kenya ate eight down like all of them look beautiful i remember being like baby black don't crack and i said this is black this is black beauty this is black excellence they look so good and this this is the same vibe i got from this photo i was so excited for the majority all the women look good to me like i feel like everybody well nah, i'm not even about to lie if i say everybody ate but that's a lie because mia and giselle did nothing <laughs> did nothing but everybody looked good the cast photo fire they look like juicy hot tamales loved it loved it loved it loved it so i'm gonna go girl by girl we're gonna talk about their outfits and what we like about it then we're gonna talk about the trailer that was released on tuesday and then we're gonna talk about the people's reactions to the trailers i.e um some of the cast members so let's get into it all so right first up let's talk about miss candace candace look good Candace looks like Jessica Rabbit pulled together that pose like this. You know, the energy Candace is giving is, I know you whores don't like me, but I'm here and I'm going to be here and I'm going to stay on y'all's necks. And I need her to keep that energy all season for Giselle. I need her to do it. I just need her to do it. I need her to do it. But she looked good. She looked good. She looked good. That pose of like, girl, what's up? I see you. She looks so good. The hair looks good. She looks good. She definitely looks like, because everyone's been calling her um, Candy Rabbit or Jessica Rabbit, because she looks good. This outfit is fired. She looks amazing. Then Miss Karen Hugart. Karen looks good. This does not look matronly. That's the thing. I think Karen has a way of like, she knows sometimes, she knows how to play it sometimes when it comes to her age. And this looks really good with a little sash over here. Because I feel what would, make, would have, what would have made the outfit matronly is if the sash was like on one side. But this little going across, the hair looks good. She looks like the grand dame. She looks good. She looks good. Karen looks good. Looks pulled together. I tell you, money well spent on whoever did her body and whoever did her face. Then Mia, 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 and this is, this is giving very much, I can buy it at Dillard's or Belk's. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I mean, it's cute for what it is, but uh, this, um, this floral overlay with the little hints of glitter. Yeah, no ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. Ashley. I will say Ashley looks good. And y'all know, if you see my reviews, I do not like that light bulb headed demon. I do not like that lady. But in this, she looks amazing. Body looks good. I love that the, um, what's it called? The cloth that goes around her neck. The hair looks nice. The only thing I don't really like is her shoes. But other than that, she looks good. She looks very good. So I'm like, okay, Ashley. Okay, okay. 
Um, then we have um Robin. I actually like Robin's outfit with the little flipped of the hair. <laughs> Somebody says she looked like she give a mean women's empowerment speech or she she works at the PTA. But the little T-length dress, it looks nice on her. I know she's showing off that red and ring with the hole on the arm, with the hand. She gonna let y'all know her and Juan is, they together. They is together. But she looks good. I think she looks really good. Then Miss Wendy. I like this outfit on Wendy. I feel like maybe a necklace would have pulled it together more. Because I feel like something's missing. But she looks amazing. And money well spent on her body too. The thigh is thighing. The hair is hair. And she looks good. Then Giselle. Giselle is Giselle like Mia. This outfit looks cheap as hell on Giselle. It looks cheap. And I want Giselle to do something different with her hair. I don't know what I would want her to do. I, you know, I, it, the one day Giselle comes out with like burgundy or auburn hair, I would lose my mind. Because I feel like it would just be a different vibe for her. But I don't like this dress. I don't like it. I, I don't like it. It looks cheap. But you, we know what Giselle gives. <laughs> we know what Giselle gives. Um, then Sharice. So yeah, if you don't know, Sharice will have like a friend of the show capacity, which I'm happy for. I, I like Sharice. I know y'all didn't like her, but I like her. I like the fact that she be giving it to Giselle and Karen. So I'm down for Sharice being back. I don't understand why she wore this color. I, everybody else is in like deep reds or a hot red color. She got on burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> did she miss the memo did they tell her to wear this but it's not. now this gives matronly like the sashes on the side like i don't like it i i don't like it but i'm just like sharice i'm glad you're back but why sis why and then jacqueline which is supposed to be like mia's friend like she's this is real basic like her friends like this is very like she got this as she in or fashion over cute lady but it's basic very basic but all together, I say as an ensemble, it works. But the three that, that really work is really Candace, Karen, and Ashley. And after watching the trailer, I understand why they were in the middle. They about to carry. They are about to carry to the point where they even have like that one picture where it's like layered with the ladies' faces. And you got Karen, um, Candace and Ashley at the top and the other four at the bottom. I said, because the three of them about to carry this season. I feel it. I feel it. They about to, they about to really give us, give us something. So like I said, Sharice is back in a full, like not a full capacity, but a friend of, and this is what she had to say. She took to um, uh, Instagram and said this, a special thanks for all the support and love regarding my return to RHOP. The support has been overwhelming and has truly made my heart happy. I'm honored to be asked to rejoin such an amazing cast of women it's going to be a great season i am elated to be a part of such a dynamic franchise hashtag bravo hashtag hashtag truly original hashtag rhop be sure to watch the premiere on october the 9th at 8 p.m only on bravo so yeah i'm happy sharice is back i know a lot of people don't like sharice and find her boring but like i said sharice keeps giselle and karen on their toes especially karen and the thing about it is sharice is the only one in them only so so this is the thing for a lot of you new girls who have been watching potomac because i've been watching potomac since season one when they was trying to do etiquette days sharice used to get karen together she used to clock when Karen was lying. Same with Giselle and them. And the truth of the matter is, Sharice is the reason why we have Real Housewives of Potomac. Real Housewives of Potomac was supposed to be about like Jack and Jill, like but in like the black community. And a lot of the, the, that community said, don't try us. Don't try to expose what we got going on. So then Sharice came up. The show was really supposed to be called Ladies of Potomac. It wasn't even supposed to be a Real Housewives franchise, but then it got morphed into that. And Sharice is the one that they called upon to actually get the ladies she's the one that called Giselle and Karen and Katie and all of them there would not be a Giselle or a grand dame if if, if Sharice was not the one that was implemented in hand picking them to be a part of the show so it is what it is and I'm happy the lady is bad because I feel like we gonna get a really good season especially we gonna get unhinged Karen and I'm in I'm down for it I'm really down for that so let's get into this trailer. Let's get into so this trailer. 
I really feel like this season is going to be a decent or pretty good season because I feel like a lot of dynamics are shifting. And I think that's the only reason why I feel like it's going to be cool. We open up, we see Ashley and Candace at uh, Ashley and Candace house. They're laughing, having a good time, which I was like, whoa, that's different. Um, we're seeing like we're seeing that there's not there wasn't even a lot of clips showing of Karen and um, Giselle arguing. So I don't even think that's going to be a point of contention anymore. I think Karen's really going to be going for Sharice. We do see Mia and um, Wendy still fighting, but it seems like this season is probably going to be a decent season. You got Candace and her do dealing with school, IVF and all that stuff. And then Giselle saying that Chris pushed up on her and how it made her feel uncomfortable and Karen saying Giselle is dead to her because she don't be don't be messing with my man uh, <laughs> then you have Ashley and her divorce Karen and Ray Karen supposedly might be stepping out on Ray um Mia and the whole like pseudo cancer scared that like had pissed a lot of people off Robin dealing with um, a prenup with, you know, Juan and them. And then I think, what's her name? Wendy. They didn't have a lot about Wendy, uh, Wendy other than like she might have like a health scare. And then Giselle really doesn't have a storyline other than beefing with Candace. But it seems like it's going to get nipped in the bud like really quickly. Like really quickly. Because I think Candace is going to cut, like cut it, like don't play with my man like that. Which I don't fault her. So, the only two things I'm really interested in seeing is the whole, like, why Mia threw a drink at um, Wendy. And she purposely missed, but throwing the drink in, in any regard is stupid. And it's out, it's, it's uncalled for. And I'll show the clip, because I'm going I'm to post the clip. But she legit, like, throws it, but it comes across. And you see Wendy jump, like, because she was getting ready for it, but, like, it didn't hit her. And I find it very odd that when it was all this speculation about, like, a drink being thrown, everybody pointed towards Candace, but Candace wasn't even in Miami when it happened. But now that we all see that it was Mia who did it, everyone's like, oh, yes, queen. Like, that's why Mia should have got a second season. Me, I'm living for Mia. But had it been Candace or Wendy, it'd have been like, oh, they need to be fired. They always putting their hands on somebody. They need their ass beat. Mia needed to get molly whopped. Like, don't be throwing, like, this is the second time Mia has thrown something. She threw salad. Now she's throwing a drink. And as a lot of y'all like to bring up the fight that happened in season five and how y'all said, well, Candace did this and Candace did that. Then if that's true and we're going with that line, Logic, then Wendy was well up in her right to like knock that lady in her mouth real quick because I either would have threw something back or popped her dead in her mouth because why are we throwing drinks on people why are we throwing drinks on people hmm hmm okay but 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 we are I see I see what's going on with y'all and Wendy even said it Wendy even said it Wendy Wendy quote tweeted and tweeted something Candace said so Candace said this that Wendy quote tweeted where she was like I'm also excited to see what the brown paper bag acrobats are used are used to defending certain deplorable behavior by certain sector of the viewership basically saying that like Candace and Wendy don't have an issue with Bravo's, like, with Bravo or the network, but they do have an issue with the viewers because of, like, y'all will do mental gymnastics to prove that, like, what they did was so horrible and so deplorable, but the fact that you see somebody else who is of a lighter hue do it, all of a sudden it's okay. And I was trying to give Mia a clean slate because I was like, she actually can be fun at times and her story is compelling, but for you to throw some shit at somebody and then everyone and be like oh it's okay because it's windy that's when people feel like it's the colorism jumping out the fact that all of y'all were like well we need to wait and see why it happened but when y'all thought it was candace y'all were calling for her to be fired when the girl wasn't even in miami when the thing transpired that is the issue and none of y'all seem to get it it's like it don't be clicking up in there for a lot of y'all so then 
Um, Wendy quote tweeted this statement where someone said they're already saying Wendy deserved a drink thrown at her. The laps people run to defend these light skinned women on this show. Hashtag RHOP. And Wendy says, I vehemently remember the outrage when the people falsely assumed I threw a drink. Now we all see the truth and magically the outrage disappears. How convenient. That's the issue. That is the issue. The no one's saying y'all have to like someone. Like, no one's saying that y'all have to automatically like Candace or Wendy. But the issue is, like, when y'all allow y'all biases to make you not see the truth, when it's like, they're right. Y'all were outraged when y'all thought Wendy or Candace did something to one of them light, bright people of the light skin confederation. Okay? But then, when we clearly see Mia did it, oh, it's yes, girl. Yes, that's how you get it. She deserved it. Wendy y'all always talking. <laughs> y'all are jokes. Y'all are jokes. So then Chris also has something to say about this whole rumor about possibly him pushing up on Giselle. And he said this, well, I guess after six seasons, it's finally my turn. Hashtag R-H-O-P. And Candace said, one thing about it, misery is going to stick her neck rose in somebody's marriage. This is why I like Candace. Because, baby, she going to read. She going to she going she gonna to spray. And if you get hit with the spray, it's all you because you should have ducked. I'm ready. I am so ready. But yeah, y'all. I mean, that's my thing. Mia throwing stuff and then unhinged Karen. Because Karen yelling at Sharice was funny. That five seconds of Karen yelling at Sharice. You keep talking about my marriage. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> and then you see Ashley eating her food like. <laughs> she went hard as hell. I don't know why. I hollered. I hollered. Learned. Like, I'm excited for this season. I think this season is actually going to be a good time. It might really um, break up the toxicity that's going on on Beverly Hills. But then again, Potomac fandom is a different breed. Because ever since the trailer dropped on Tuesday, y'all, everybody already was fighting in the streets. <laughs> fighting in the streets. But I'll let you know this now. I'm not fighting with none of y'all. If I choose to review this show, you gonna get what I give you and you gonna deal with it. You can have a difference of opinions, but don't be getting up in my comments getting real ignorant because you will get the, the swiftest of a block. Because first I'll cuss you out, then I'll block you. That's just how we roll over here. But yeah, y'all, give me your thoughts. Drop down in the comments below. Remember to be bravely authentic and I'm out, y'all. Deuces.